But how do you know about them? Elementary, my dear Watson. Elementary, my dear Watson. London is expanding rapidly at just under 3,000 people a week. As a consequence, transport infrastructure is under a lot of pressure, not only from locals, but from visitors too. This creates a further strain on current resources. Um, yeah, there are definitely places that I um, avoid in London when they're just so busy to walk through and when it's wet, it's not very nice. Yeah, cycling in London is definitely really dangerous. Um, something has to change or something has to be fixed. What if the answer was already here, right underneath our feet? in London rediscovered and brought back to life. A tourist attraction as well as a functional infrastructure for Londoners. So let's begin with central London and reconnect the abandoned tunnels from Green Park, Holborn and Old Aldwych. Let's compare journeys by taxi and by cycle. maintain these tunnels and what if we could capture the running costs? So what is it? It's a cycle highway, a pedestrian haven with pop-ups, art, culture and retail. It could be whatever you want it to be and with public support it could grow into something so much more. Within the tunnels one mile radius of the West End, there are two top universities, three river bridges, four public museums, over 20 hotels, over 40 theatres and hundreds of restaurants and pubs. And just imagine if there are a network of these tunnels reconnecting different parts of London. It's elementary. I think we would use it as long as if it were safe and uh, clean. Able to walk in the tunnel and just to, to feel the, the, story, the story about the place, I think it would be really nice. It would be a lot safer, it would be a lot cleaner, it would be a lot faster and it would remove you from the fumes from the cars which are so annoying. Uh, I would definitely use a tunnel if it was um, dry, uh, warm and connected to the underground, yeah. 